Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And your girl, Fanny. And we are Fanny Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to say thank you. Make sure to get us to 20,000 subscribers. I know we're going to get there before the end of this year. You guys have been super amazing. And make sure to support us also. And, you know, the thing is, uh, there is a button down there called, uh, th is it thank you button or something like that? You can just go there and, you know, uh, support us in any way you feel like <clears throat> and yeah without any further ado let's get into the reaction so today we're going to react to why do you want to debate the christians i'm a did that answer is it right to spread islam by debates dialogues why christians do not ask muslims to debate You see, the questioner is absolutely ignorant, totally ignorant in what he's asking. You see, I have debated now with six Americans, and the Americans have been coming to me. I didn't come here to America looking for them. Six Americans, I named them. Professor Simpkins of Johnson Bible College, he came to South Africa to debate with me. Josh McDowell came to South Africa to debate with me. Dr. Floyd E. Clark, from Johnson Bible College, he came to England to debate with me. That's three. <laughs> four. Um, Jimmy Swaggart. Four. Ani Sharosh from what you call Mobile, Alabama. He came to debate with me in England. Five, six. I counted some six. You know, somebody was asking me yesterday, and one, 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 one. They came to my mind. Six Americans. Oh yes. Thank you very much. This Douglas we are talking about just now. See, I just forgot what happened yesterday. So I didn't go looking for Douglas. I didn't go looking for Jimmy Swaggart. I didn't go looking for any one of these. They are raising the dust in the world. There are at the moment, out of the world, 70,000 missionaries, evangelists, crusaders. 60% are Americans. 42,000 Americans are raising the dust throughout the world. What are you talking about? We debating with them. They are raising the dust in Pakistan. They have perverted more Pakistanis into Christianity since independence than in the previous 50 years of British, 100 years of British rule. They have perverted more Bangladeshis into Christianity since independence than the previous 100 years of British rule. They have converted 15 million Indonesians into Christianity. There are 35,000 full-time evangelists, crusaders in Africa involved at the moment. What are you talking about? Debating, debating. They are raising the dust. They are knocking at your door. And you are such a fool, you don't know what's going on. Unless, you know, hypocrites, I meet hypocrites here in your country. A doctor tells me, he takes me at the last trip of mine, somewhere near Detroit, an arbor. An arbor, is that a place like that? Yes, yes. He takes me home, some 20, 30 miles away. And in the car he's telling me, he says, you know, why are you try interfering with these Christians? Why don't you leave them alone? I says, you know, you are such a fool. I said, do you read the Quran? You know, one third of the Quran is addressed to Jews and Christians. Do you know that? One third of the Quran is addressed to Jews and Christians. If it is not relevant, I said, take it out and put it in a museum. Those pieces, one third, out. What are you wasting time with it? What are you making your children to read it? What for? But he says, look, no Christian interferes with us. I said, no. I said, don't the Jehovah's Witness come to your home? I said, no. Okay. You know whether they knock at your doors or not. I go to his house, I sleep in the house. Next morning he goes up early, he says, look, I'll come back a little later. You can have your breakfast in the meantime. I said, right. After breakfast, I'm sitting in the sitting room. Are you listening or are you talking? This gentleman here, look. Are you listening or you want to have a discussion now? I was having discussion. But this is not the time. You are, look. See, they ask questions and they start having discussions. I didn't, I didn't no, no, well, you had that spirit behind you. How? <laughs> Look, so sitting in his sitting room, I'm watching his library, and from the color of books I can make out whether they are Jehovah's Witnesses, publication, watchtower. So I see a book there, the color, I recognize color. They have a specialized type of coloring for their books. So I take the book, Paradise Lost and Paradise Regained, title of the book. So I read, I know Jehovah's Witness. So when he comes, I'm asking his wife before he came, I said, Ben, sister, where did you get this from? He said, no, some Jehovah's Witness came and my husband bought it for $5. <laughs> so when he came, I said, look, how did this come here in your, in your library? No, liars, liars, hypocrites. There's something gone wrong with you. You got this in your library and you say you don't know how it comes there. 
He come by, Holy Ghost brought it there and put it there. <laughs> this is the sickness. You see, I said, look, get rid of this emasculation. You know, you are already emasculated people. Come out of that, you know, stand up for your rights, the people, help the people, and inshallah, if you can help the people, you'll be helping yourself. What do you think? Um, I think what he's trying to say is that blind faith type of a thing, you know, like someone just knocking at your door and telling you something that you haven't gone into much research. And I know, okay, I know people are, uh, when you're born, you're into, you're, you're subjected to any, to some religion, whether you, if you're born in a Muslim family, you, you know, and if you're born in a Christian family, subjected to Christian, uh, I mean, um, is it mantra? I don't know. But the idea is that you need to find peace. If you're able to, that's why I, I kind of like what he says in his teachings that it really congratulates the people who are atheists or maybe the people who are agnostics who are trying to find their way because they know what they want. That's Sakinaik. Huh? Sakinaik. Yes, Sakinaik. I mean, I mean, they know, not, not, not like they know what you want, but they're searching for, for the right religion or maybe they're searching for the truth, you know, and probably towards the end of their journey, they're going to find what religion to, to land on. So, I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, I, re I really hate when somebody knocks at my door and start telling me about, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter whether you, I don't know, just knocking on my door and just start, you know, telling me of how your religion is good and how all these kind of things. You know, these, I don't know who, you can't go into people's houses, you know. I understand that you spread the evangelism and all those kind of stuff, but you can't. Hmm? You can't. That's trespassing, first of all. Number one, you're trespassing into someone's door and you're trying to knock. You're trying to, you're disturbing that person. You didn't give me an appointment in the first place. You get it? You know, if, if, if you want to come to someone's uh, house, okay, I don't mind, come knock and tell me who you are and then say can I book an appointment with you sir <laughs> or something like that and then if I say yes that's fine with you if I say no then you've a most but I open the door and straight up go on with you know telling me about things you know so in the in the in the in a, in a nutshell is that I think religion have been politicized to some extent Religion has been made to look like it's a, it's a thing of, what do you call this? It's a game, you know? It's, it's like a, like the way you play Scrabble or the way you play any any game, you understand? You know, one has to win, one has to lose, one. Do you, you, you get it? And then they've reached to a point where they're even debating each other. Just to prove a point that my religion is the best or your religion is worst, your religion... I do not commend debates on religion. Please, can we just stop that? Can we just stop the idea of, you know, debating ourselves just to prove a point? No. If you come from a Christian family or Christian background and you believe in your Christianity and you feel like this is the way you're going to go to heaven through this, well and good, you know. Don't come to me and start debating about how my religion is slacking or how my religion is, you know, if you're a Muslim and you know 100% that this is you, go ahead with believing in what you believe in and if that's what you believe in and you think that this is what is going to take you to heaven, well and good, you know. And uh, just I understand the idea of maybe you have a calling to tell people, but don't force. You can tell them, advise, but not force them into do you understand? You can, you know, just educate them. Let them decide for themselves. You know, because everybody, what I realized, everybody has their own journey, yeah? Experiences. Do you understand? Someone will come and tell you, you know what? Oh, man. I don't believe in this religion. My experience is that I met 
let's say you will just say I just went out to nature and nature showed me something nature nature taught me this and that person will believe in the universe you know the the law of nature you know and all this kind of stuff again my point so anyway it's a good I mean such kind of things bring us into uh, talks and all this kind of which is really good we have to at the end of the day we have to discuss and talk and whatnot but if it could be just ended by you know not having so much um, debates on particular thing and whatnot I mean the, 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 the world today could be a better place I, I don't know I think so Mm, like you said, debates, I don't also, I don't even understand. I thought the whole point of debates is just to prove that this side can prove their points more, not to say the other person is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's how you put out your um, points out there. It also shouldn't be used to put the other person down, like you said, the other religion down. If anything, it should be used to learn from each other use it as a platform to learn or get information from the other person and see how they think or talk about a certain thing without having them feel small or anything like that i think it was an interesting question it was but he's but he said it's the christians that actually want to debate him <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe it's the christians with the problem i don't know <laughs> Let us know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and we'll see, and we'll see you in our next reaction video. Deuces.